please subscribe to our channel and for latest update click on the bell icon hello everybody uh, today i'm going to talk to you about a very interesting skill which is the reading skill when you join a uh, school the i mean the academic sector we automatically develop reading skills by listening so the key to good reading is to listen once we start listening we start using small words like speaking and from speaking we can move on to the next skill which is reading and once you start reading automatically you are privileged to write so the four skills reading uh, listening speaking reading and writing are all interconnected the moment you get one automatically you can fetch the other then after fetching two you can fetch the third and after the third you fetch the fourth so it depends on the exposure we have uh on it depends on the exposure we have so based on that our skills develop today i am going to detail give you in detail about the benefits of reading as you can see i've tried to <laughs> create a word map for you so you can pause the video you can make note of the various techniques and try to implement it in your life so by reading we get all these benefits now i couldn't write more benefits because of time factor you are also busy and um, i cannot be making a very lengthy lecture which may be boring to you so i've written just the major uh, benefits of good reading the first one i've written is mental stimulation the moment you read an article your mind is stimulated you automatically get engrossed in the problem or you get engrossed into the story you forget things around you your mind reaches another level and the authors are so good they are able to capture the attention uh, sorry they are able to capture the attention of the readers so your memory is stimulated it makes you feel good it makes you feel thoughtful it makes you feel surprised it makes you wonder about oh can they do things like this yeah mental stimulation then stress reduction yes uh, all books do not reduce your stress it depends on the type of book that you choose to read well for if you uh, are a person who loves to read then i am sure any book would be of uh, great stress relief to you knowledge you cannot you know memorize many facts you cannot do everything just by knowledge you need to uh, you know complement your knowledge growth by reading the more you read the more you know the more you explore uh, the more interested you will get it uh, sometimes it is very uh, strange for us that we remain like the horse you know we just focus on what has to be done for example if i am a medical student or maybe if i am a nursing student i only focus on my uh, books or my or my syllabus or the textbooks that are prescribed for my syllabus i behave you know similar to the horse just focusing on what has to be done but parallelly the wiser approach would be to focus on other skills which involves reading a variety of other materials that can relate to my course uh, for example recent research developments recent failures in medical uh, medical industry or recent failures due to nurses uh, or the recent um, uh, equipment which has been used in hospitals or the latest research or reading about ayurveda and other old medical uh, treatments reading about herbs all this is extra reading but it is still related to my area of study it you have a variety of choices you can take materials for reading based on your uh, course of study it can be based on your course of interest or it can be based on out of the blue like you might be interested in reading some women magazines or maybe other blogs or maybe a particular blogger it's up to us then vocabulary expansion so by reading you come across a lot of new words and what you do when you come across new words you try to guess the meaning by understanding the context of the sentence uh, well sometimes we are able to succeed with this technique but sometimes if it doesn't help we try to find out the root word or maybe a clue from the word and if it still doesn't help then we go in to use the dictionary and uh, i would recommend when you find a new word you go through the meaning of the word and try to use the word in different conversations when you talk sometimes if it is a very difficult word for me to remember i relate that word to a person 
person in my family or a person in my batch or a person in my company. So I keep the word as a visual image relating to this person. So that's how sometimes I connect and keep track of my vocabulary. If you want, you can also try this method. It, it really works. And then memory improvement. By reading, you can improve your memory. I'm sure we all remember Huckleberry Finn, which we read years ago. Right? Cinderella at the ball? Yes. How, how do we remember such kind of stories? Because of our repeated reading and interest in reading. There are certain iconic books which you know can never be compensated like the Lord of the Rings and the Pride and Prejudice. It, it is so relevant, uh, it is so magical I, and uh, nowadays the children are so fascinated by Harry Potter. So what makes the children get fascinated? Fascination itself. So uh, being, uh, you know, being a person who reads a lot, I recommend you, if you are not a good person, I mean not a, if you are not into reading, I recommend you to start reading, maybe two pages a day to start with and gradually you will be able to fetch uh, more knowledge, more vocabulary. Stronger analytical skills. So, what do I mean by analytical skills? There may be various situations discussed in a story or maybe various uh, examples given in any article. So, when you read it, you develop knowledge about it. And sooner or later, you may be in a situation with the same, same problem or you may be in a position of offering a solution or you may be in a position of give, giving a reference. For example, somebody is fighting... Uh, cancer in, in their family and you know they are desperate about reading about uh, you know what treatment what where to go how to save the person's life so and if you have read an article about cancer and if there were some details about some Ayurveda or some special treatment available in a particular place you should be able to relate that knowledge share that knowledge to somebody so they can use it make use of it improve concentration yes Reading improves a lot of concentration because you, when you read and you stop by, you keep, a book, uh, you keep a bookmarker or you make a dog's ear, you just fold the paper at the top to understand that you have stopped here. And after some time or maybe after some days, depending on your work schedule, you decide to take it up, to take up reading and then you can continue from where you left. So here, you, it improves your concentration. Automatically, you are able to remember what you read earlier how far the story went or what was the article about. You are able to capture the main points. So how is this possible? Because of repeated reading. Our concentration improves. Then, better writing skills. As I said to you in the introduction of this video, all the four skills are interconnected. The more you read, the more you develop the other three skills. They complement each other. Once you start reading, you are never lost for words. You are never lost for sentences and you can never make mistakes. Because you're repeating, you're reading, you're exposing yourself over and over again to different types of content. The same type of vocabulary will be used in a different context, so you're able to relate. Your brain is highly stimulated. So when you have a stimulated brain, you're able to deliver your writing most effectively. You, whatever is your thought, sometimes we have a problem. We feel a particular way, but we cannot write it out. Have you had that experience? You would have. But the more you read, you will be able to write down what you want, what you feel. Your feelings can be put down in writing. So that was the, the last point which I have jotted down for you today. And I would like to share with you that um, the more you read, the more friends you have. Truly. And I came across uh, one of the newspapers which read about a moving library. Wherein you, they, this, is a, this is done by a student, engineering student if I am not wrong. And uh, his concept was developed by him. Since he was into a lot of reading, he could not um, you know, afford to have a stock of books or even a library in his house. So as a growing adult, he thought about a plan. And the plan is, it's called moving library. And uh, the, the process goes like this. Say if you're interested in having a moving library, you have to register yourself with, with them. And they will give you a list list of books, like what are the books you want. I think it's 50 books or 500 books initially they provide. So once you tick the, select the books, whichever you require, you send the list to them. They get ready the books and they come home and they set up the library for you. Like, you know, subject wise 
or alphabetic wise, depending on what you require. And then they set the library and it remains with you for a month or three months if I'm not sure, I, I'm, I'm not able to remember the duration. The library stock remains with you. And after the duration, the fixed duration is over, the person comes to your house, gives you another list, so you make another selection. The previous stock is taken out and fresh set of books are being circulated to you. So like this, the, the moving library visits so many houses. This gives uh, you know, a little contention, a little satisfaction for people who really love to have a library at home, but we cannot afford to buy all the books. All right? So we can register for such things. Now, how am I share, sharing this with you? Because I read it from the paper. And now my previous knowledge about this is shared with you. So when now you are listening to me, well, if this is not of your interest, you can share this knowledge to somebody else. And uh, nowadays we have a lot of reading opportunities. In our times of growing up, to read something, we need to go to the library. That was mandatory. Well, uh, when we were stepping into college, then we had Google. But we had to pay for browsing. There was no free Wi-Fi. We had to visit computer centers. But now everything is available with the click of a mouse. So you can engage yourself by reading various blogs, analyzing the writer, the, the author of the blog. What is the concept he's trying to communicate? You can reply, you can give your comments, you can give your views. What a privilege is that? You can learn, you can read previous comments, you can give your opinion. There will be people giving uh, replies to your comment. So you're reading over and over again. And there's so many uh, you know, news articles which talks about leading research, uh, leading plans for the growth of the country. So you can explore. If you're not interested in re reading fantasy or romantic novels, you can take on to the technical aspect. So good luck to you on your reading skills.